just wanted to say this is the most beautiful and detailed description of Om that I've ever heard. <laughs> Manduke. It was. <laughs> it was so. This session brought me closer to recognize experientially how I am everything. The measurement. the deep sleep state is the measure that was a very um revealing point that shows how every vasna comes out of that and manifests this so called waking dream and the sleep dream who is there to blame it is all me mm-hmm. if if i'm having an argument with my husband or some contractor or a relative really just seeing them doing something bad or saying something bad is just my mind story it is all me it's my vasna being projected in that scenery that scenery is me the dream character is me the dream world is me the waking state is me where is the blame where is the judgment who is there to point out to it about anything where is the suffering this is such a freedom and a point a knowledge point of relief yes. that really yeah. removes all the baggage and just sets you totally free perfect perfect superb thank you manduke upanishad with gaudapada skarika in this book gaudapada in the 14th century he gave a commentary on manduke upanishad and he has very beautifully explained that there are three kinds of suffering which get totally wiped just by the recognition through mandukya yeah so i'll explain in short he says that there is a cessation of all miseries when you recognize this experientially and he gave three kinds of miseries he says this the first misery or first suffering is because of believing i am this body the second kind of suffering that arises because of the belief i am this body i am suffering because of that other being he is causing suffering to me the body mind so first suffering is because of the body mind belief second suffering is that other body mind is causing suffering to this body mind yeah and the third is the suffering because of the projected waking world yeah natural suffering right now we are going through a pandemic yeah all of us are going through that natural suffering those who are very attached to the belief of i am the body mind they pronounce the suffering in their minds for themselves yeah so he said these are the three kinds of suffering and the root of all three is the belief that i am the body mind so suffering of this body suffering caused by other beings to this body and suffering caused by this waking world to this body he says mandukya does only one thing it shifts the i from the wrong place it is at the wrong place the i is at i am the body mind it shifts the i from the subject to the witness of the subject yeah to the awareness when you start recognizing i am that awareness the i shifts 
when the eye shifts it doesn't bother you if there is pain in the body the body is a physical organ and it will go through its deterioration it will go through its sickness the pain is going to naturally come when the eye has shifted the attachment to the pain or seeing the pain is mine the mindness of the pain breaks away cuts off because now you recognize i am the witness of the pain happening in the body so you don't suffer anymore and he explains this very much in detail i just gave it to you in one sentence he explains why you suffer you suffer because not because of the little pain that has happened but because of the anxiety restlessness story creation oh this has happened to me why has this happened to me i hope this doesn't multiply oh this oh that blah 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 the stress and anxiety that is the suffering the pain is not so big as much as i extrapolate the suffering yeah so your suffering is caused by your reaction to the pain and then he goes one step deeper why do i react to the pain because i feel this is i it is happening to me the moment the i shifts from here and goes here to the witness it does not happen to me the i breaks off i breaks off the reaction breaks off reaction breaks off the suffering breaks off yeah, so very beautifully it is described in the karika yeah it is your wrong position of the i that is the cause for your suffering and he gives a very good example suppose in the dream there is a tiger chasing you in the dream you are afraid of the tiger because you feel it, it is chasing me you wake up from the dream and you're like oh there is no tiger you brush it away yeah it is not mine correct you don't give it any more importance now yes same thing will happen for the waking state when you clearly see it as a dream you just brush away all the reactions that occur because of habit pattern and you say oh it's just a dream that is why the enlightened one says i am in pain but i do not suffer yes there is pain in the body but i am not suffering why because he is not reacting and he is not multiplying that and he is not creating the whole uh, anxious and depressive environment in his mind he is relaxed he is calm he is quiet there is pain it is the body it naturally heals it will heal when it's time yeah so he is the witness of the pain yeah you are a sangha a sangha naturally detached nothing sticks to you it's a fake idea that i have made myself believe that this is i this body mind and it has attachments that is why there is suffering yeah so wake up and see pain appears and disappears but you remain untouched reality is never affected by illusion reality cannot be affected by illusion yeah just like uh, the snake cannot bite the rope yeah the universe cannot affect the consciousness the false cannot affect the real
conditioning I had that, you know, I'm jumping from from witness to the pure consciousness. That is also just in the mind. It's not, it's uh, not there. Perfect. This is the realization, the true realization of Ajatavada, that there is really no shuttling. The shuttling is also a story. Yes. Yeah, it's like saying, I was not conscious. What do you mean? Who's knowing that I'm not conscious? Is it even possible to know I am not conscious? No. Yeah, because there is nothing like not consciousness. Doesn't exist. Yeah. So I felt like Mandukya literally just like pushed me into like, wake up. This is all false. Get up. I'm just so excited. Such a joy. And this is not like crazy happy party joy, but it's just the joy of, oh my God, yeah. there is nothing to worry about. There is just, nothing is mine and I'm so happy about it. Yes, yes. This is that sense of relief that I talk about. The sense of relief that you get from the I crumbling away. The personal I just crumbles. Yes, the journey has just begun for that. Let it completely crumble away. For you, homework is, your key is to recognize that the journey of I crumbling has begun. How will I know that it is completely done? The I has completely crumbled away. When you just see this body-mind as an empty shell. No I there. That is your clue. Okay, That's your thing to keep an eye on. Don't really jump ahead and say, oh, I've completed the journey. No, I've not completed the journey till the time I see the body-mind simply as an empty shell. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Hi, Taji. Um, if, if there is one word I can use to summarize the whole of the Mandukya Upanishad, I think it would be surrender. So that is the relinquishing of this sense of personhood, that uh, individual I, to that universal I, yeah. by seeing that our lives are complete and utter fabrication. Yes. And by in, in which we believe that there is an agency that occupies this sentient body-mind that seems to uh, awake in the morning and then sleep at night. And it would seem that that is an error of um, a large proportion uh, because there is no such agency. It, it is all a a happening that seems to, so, so in other words, the waking, the dreaming, and the deep sleep would happen right here, right now, uh, as opposed to the deep sleep or the dream state occurring when I'm in bed. For yes. Example. Yes. So that's 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 what um, I think I have gleaned from these last four, uh, sorry, last three sessions yeah. on the Mandukya. Beautiful. That's it. That's beautiful, Satya. When you recognize that, oh, I was in a wrong understanding, you experientially see it that I am here, I am not here. Experientially, the I has shifted to the awareness. It's at the periphery rather than being at the center where this peephole called body mind is. And experientially the eye has shifted, then you recognize, aha, that was a story. The entire lifetime was a story. Everything that followed in the waking state, the dream state, deep sleep state, all those were stories. There is only consciousness. There is only awareness. This is my truth. This is not a truth. This is an appearance. Right now there is an appearance of Ekta, the body-mind, which is the teacher and the students on the screen. This appearance will disappear. 
Again, there will be a next. It will disappear. This is not reality. That which is constant through the disappearance and appearance, disappearance and appearance, that space of awareness where now the I is situated, that is reality. That is who I am. So it's not even like a surrender that you go to a temple and surrender the I. That is one moment ka surrender. I call it fake surrender. It's not even real surrender. The real surrender happens here. Can be understood at this level. Where the I, that fake belief in the I, now completely crumbles with all its conditioning, all its past belief and you are ready to let the conditioning go. You are ready to let the old beliefs go. You are ready to let all the past so-called stories of attachment dissolve and see the truth. I am a Sangha, naturally detached. I cannot be attached. Space cannot be attached. Space cannot be enclosed. Space cannot be made mine or yours. Space of awareness is universal. It's infinite. That is what I am. My reality. When you see this and let all past seeds, now remember the measure is still going to continue. You have seen the truth that I am the witness. I am not the body mind but the measure is going to com continue its work. It is going to keep doing this. From the deep sleep state it is going to bring things out and they are going to come into the waking state. That job is going to continue because it is programmed in the shelf life of this body. Now my job is to not get fooled by that repetitive conditioning coming my way. Do you see this? This is where most Ajatavadan's journey is right now. This is where you have reached. Now the measure comes this morning. Some old attachment. Tendency of the mind in the past was to say, ah, my memory, my attachment, this happened to me, whatever it was. And then you get lost in the story. Waking up, I am not this body mind. Waking up, ah, I am this awareness, see the truth. That thought that came, the memory that arose, that also appears and disappears back into me. I, the space of awareness, remain intact. I am untouched by the memory. Similarly, a new conditioning. It's not a new conditioning. It's the old conditioning appearing in a new form. Again, with some rites, rituals, some practice. But you notice, I am the space of awareness. I, the space of awareness, don't need any rites, rituals or practices. I am pure, untouched, unstained. Yeah, And if that conditioning drops, you let it drop. You don't hold on to conditioning now. This is the true meaning of surrender. Now all these seeds are coming from the measure, but I do not give in to the old temptation because now I recognize clearly I am not this body-mind only. So now the only job is remembrance. Remembering I am the space of awareness. Remembering. Yeah. Why remembering? Because that conditioning is the baby of the veiling power of Maya. Its job is to again hypnotize me. It veils my vision from the truth. That is why remembrance. Remembering to not get hypnotized. Remembering to stay as the consciousness, as the awareness. Clear? Yeah. That is the true meaning of surrender. Baki all that going to your temple and surrendering to God is all fake. You have no idea what you are doing. Surrendering to a guru, surrendering to parents. You have no idea what you are doing. 
all fake there is only one true meaning of surrender and that is this yeah where i recognize i'm not the personal i anymore i have become very clear in my seeing of my true nature i am the universal i yes and i surrender i let go of the old conditioning that belong to the personal i because i am not that very clear yeah the meaning of surrender is clear